534 is the time now. Disagreements between Kaiser Permanente and unions that represent thousands of its health care workers could now lead to the largest strike in the country this year. A majority of its union members have authorized a strike. Uh, News Channel 3's Crystal Jimenez is live in Palm Desert this morning with the latest there. Crystal. Good morning, Jeff. 96% of over 18,000 members, part of the United Nurses Association of California and the Union of Healthcare Professionals, have authorized a strike. This is only, however, if it is necessary. As required by law, Kaiser must be given 10 days notice before work stoppages can actually begin. The two unions represent about 31,000 Kaiser workers in a wide range of job classes. These unions have been seeking a 4% wage increase through 20 2023 and a commitment to hire more nurses as Kaiser experiences worker shortages. But Kaiser is only offering 1% raise with a 1% bonus. Also offering new hires in 2023 a reduced wage. The union has been in negotiations with Kaiser since April. If both sides don't come to a decision, Kaiser hospitals and numerous clinics and medical office buildings across Southern California will be greatly affected. In a statement, Kaiser Permanente says we ask that our employees reject a call to walk away from the patients who need them. Our priority is to continue to provide our members with high quality safe care. In the event of any kind of work stoppage, our facilities will be staffed by our physicians along with trained and experienced managers and contingency staff. There is no date set quite yet on whether or not the strike is set to happen, but again, Kaiser says it will need that 10 day notice before work stoppages actually begin. Live in Palm Desert, Crystal Menez, News Channel. Three. Could impact so many people, of course, stay with News Channel 3 for continuing coverage. It's now 536. Family and friends of Lauren Cho are waiting for answers this morning.